Hey guys, this is Randy. Uh, please always comment, subscribe, and if you'd like to help us support our channel, the Cash App is in the description below. Any help would be appreciated. Guys, I'm going to do one on the idle air bleed, but I'm going to show you, go back to the basics, because I, I want you to understand what I'm how how the system works as far as with the transfer slot and the idle mixer screw and why it's important to get the transfer slots right. The the actual idle the actual idle hole can they see these holes right here? Lay it down some yep these holes right here there's one on each side at each this is a four corner but there's one, always even on the primaries there's always one on each side uh be right there and one on the opposite side these are the two holes that this mixture screw is controlling that's all this mixture screw is doing is controlling the fuel coming through that hole now what makes the mixture so rich is this transfer, can they see the transfer slots there? Yes, sir. Those transfer slots, I've got it exaggerated. I got the idle screw way up on it, and you can see how far they're open. Well, all that mixture, the same mixture that's feeding this mixture screw here is the same fuel that's on that transfer slot right there. It, it feed, feeds both of them. It feeds the idle mixture hole right there, and it feeds the transfer slot. So what we want to do, if we don't get the transfer slot closed up, we don't really have no fuel control with these screws like we should. The more we have that closed up, the more easier it is to adjust the mixture screw and bring it out further because we can open up the air bleed a little and not, not affect the transfer slot that. You, when you've got a lot of fuel dump in there and then you open the transfer slot, you just done use the fuel up before you ever really need it. You're using excessive fuel at at idle. So what we want to do, we we know we got to turn that mixture screw in. We don't want to stick the throttle plates on our race car or nothing, but you want to get them. Let me look, guys. I'm going to take off the camera a minute, but I want to get it down there to no more than about there. No more than that. I'd like to see it almost Wait, square. Yep. If you can. Uh, if, in fact, I've got, I have modified these and actually took the transfer slot all the way where it's closed up with the primary throttle plates. And I, I that'd be another video. And it works great. And it that means you got about 99% of the fuel control right here on these two mixture screws on your meter block. So when we do that, then we can actually set the air bleed the way we need it. It makes everything come together and give you a good clean idle and a good crisp throttle control. But when we start cut back on the idle fuel restrictors in the metering block, which is this little gold restrictor here. Some of them have them up here on the high performance models. When you start cutting that down, you're, con you're also cutting down the fuel to the actual transfer slot for the, in other words, you're, 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 you can lean down the idle mixture, but then you lean down the transfer slot too. So that ain't the way to go about it. We need to stay around a 35 most of the time, 30, sometimes I'll run 37, 38 cordon, what type of air bleed and how much air bleed I use. But anyway, to make a long story short, we got to get these transfer slots down and almost closed. And then we have very little fuel coming through here that's unmetered. In other words, it's not controlled. All right. So when we do this, we get our, it's real important. If you have to drill a hole to get it down there, to get it idle properly, drill you a hole in them throttle plates. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Most of them, usually an eighth of an inch on each side is a good starting point. All right. Sometimes you can go less than that, but on the average, if I said eighth of an inch, some of them I've drilled as far, almost three sixteenths of an inch. So it just matters how much air you need to bypass, how big the cam is, because as we put more cam in the motor, it actually decreases the vacuum, which slows the airflow past these throttle plates. So we're drilling a hole in here to let air, just like creating a vacuum leak. It's a controlled vacuum leak. And that, that lets us bring the screw down because it's trying to idle up because of the vacuum leak. So we're bringing the idle mixture screw down. In turn, in turn, we're closing these slots up, these transfer slots, where, where we know we're getting most of our fuel adjustment then through these two Holes right here. Here's the transfer slot coming down. Now it feeds the transfer slot out of here and then it jumps across with this mixture screw. And when we get the transfer slots 
closed up here, then most of our mixture screw is right here, is all the adjustment. It's, it's going to have a lot more adjustment. The, the, the further open the transfer slots are, the less your mixture screw is going to have effect on the idle. And it'll usually be way too fat. All right, so if we get this correct, then our transfer slot shut it. Then we're going to come up here where this meets the main body right here. Let me get the little pointer. There, these two outside ones are the idle air bleeds. Now, I've already put these little screw-in bleeds in here. I hadn't done the high speeds, but on this particular one, I've done all four of the idle bleeds. And you don't, you see how much material you can't afford to make a mistake. Because if you make a mistake, it will pretty much mess up the carburetor. I mean, it really will. It might be repairable with poxy or something like that. But anyway, I open these up on the average to about 73. If, if, if I'm going to four corner idle circuit, I might even go further. I might go like 75 or six on a four corner idle circuit and it will lean the mixture down. It'll lean your idle mixture down. But if you don't get the transfer slots, right, then you're just throwing a patch on it, a crutch, get your transfer slots, right. And then start playing with your, your idle. If you just got primaries, if it's just like this one's four corner, but if it's a two corner, just start going up three thousandths at a time. And and if you can put your adjustable screws in. Now, if you can't, try to get you an HP model or one that has a replaceable screw in and out air bleeds. But you can keep going up a little at a time, three thousandths at a time. You'll clean that idle up, guys. And you'll see when you get everything right, the slots, the air bleeds right, that thing will idle and idle clean. And you'll be, you'll be happy with it. And it'll have a good crisp throttle, too, response. All right, guys, this is Randy. Uh, we're going to have another video for you soon. We're going to try to start doing them more regular. We've been had problems, health problems, and I'm just now getting back, but we'll do our best. All right, guys, have a good afternoon. Talk to you later.